welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is clarissa um if you have been here welcome back this is going to be my first um book haul so i'm excited look at this i don't even know how much books i got one nine books and they're all thriller maybe one i'm not sure what one of them is about too much <laughs> um but yeah let's see if i could pick this up so here we go these are all my books um i got them today and yesterday so let's get into it okay so the first book i want to talk about is baby teeth and i'm sure a lot of people here on booktube or whatever have heard of this book um i'm probably the most out of all the books i got i think i'm mostly excited for this one i heard it's really creepy and like dark so i'm hoping that is true so this is about a little girl a seven year old named hannah and she i guess like loves her dad she loves her dad but she feels like her mother is in the way of what i don't know but she feels like she's in the way so she's going to try to do whatever she can to get her out of the picture her mom suzette is becoming just tired um she loves her daughter she loves her daughter hannah but she's just becoming tired of, i guess of the homeschooling and all these other stuff that she has to deal with and then she's starting to realize um or feel have this creepy feeling that her daughter is not as sweet as she thinks she is and that she might be a little evil and that she has some other agenda so that is baby teeth okay so here is another book that is well known and it is hidden pictures by jason recollect i didn't give the author um tell the author say the author's name in this one because i don't know how it's pronounced i believe soja so soj or zo maybe the j silent stage i don't know but here's the author um anyways back to hidden pictures so this is about a little boy named teddy and a girl i forget her name but mallory and she finds she gets a new job and she's the babysitter of teddy and he's a sweet shy little boy um and he loves to draw and he draws really cute stuff like balloons and bunnies and then his drawings start to become more sinister and one day he draws um he draws a man digging up a woman's body something like that a man in the forest digging a woman's lifeless lifeless body yeah so and then there's also a little bit of supernatural in this book um mallory believes that um teddy i guess sees stuff or hears i don't know uh because it has to do with like again like i said supernatural so and teddy's drawings start to become more um obviously dark but also realistic for his age um and she mallory also has some stuff in her life that she needs to like get i don't want to say get over but um come to terms with um so that is what this book is about so another book i got is not a happy family by sherry lapina um this story is about um this rich family and the parents are murdered and it looks like their kids did it um they are they were not they have a happy family and i guess but you don't know maybe it was all the siblings because i think there's three of them you don't know if it's all the siblings or was it just one um would you know like if you're you know siblings or someone in your family like had some bad intentions i don't know so um that is just that's like a really fast uh summary of this book i don't know but i'm looking at the cover right now you can see the three siblings in the windows um but yeah that is i just see a lizard right now <laughs> uh, that is not a happy family here's another book that i am currently reading called um the it girl by ruth ware um this is another author that i heard is very um popular so this is about a girl who um i think her name's april yeah april so this is about april 
and the main character Hannah yeah Hannah um they met in college and then I believe a year either a year later or at the end of the semester um April is found dead a decade later Hannah's all grown up she's about to have a baby um with one of the friends she made in college and um also, I forgot to mention, but there was a, another, like, there was a whole group of friends. It was her, April, and probably, like, four other people. They ended up becoming friends in college. And, um, so, yeah, a, a journalist comes knocking at her door with new evidence. And so, it looks like the man that died in prison might have actually been innocent. And so, she's starting to suspect that somebody in her friend group might have something to hide, everyone has secrets. Um, one of them may even be murder. So that is what this book is about. Another book I got is Happy and You Know It by Laura Hankin. Um, the little blurb says, a dark, witty page turner about a struggling young musician who takes a job singing for a playgroup of overprivileged babies. That is the only part that I don't understand. I don't understand what that means. Like, is that a metaphor or not? Because then it says, and they're effortlessly cool moms. So, like, I don't get it. Like, is she a musician? Like, uh, like a child musician? Like, she makes, like, songs for babies? Like, literal babies? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, only to find herself pulled into their glamorous lives and dangerous, dangerous secrets. Um, I read the synopsis, and I'm, like, kind of confused. But it's supposed to be, I believe, a, like, I don't want to say thriller i guess but um i don't know i don't know if it's like a mystery or what but it's supposed to be funny but also have like dark twists i believe um and all these women like these moms have secrets and there's betrayal it also says at the very end filled with humor and shocking twists happy you know it is a brilliant take on motherhood exposing it as yet another way for society to pass judgment on women that is like something that kind of caught my attention while also exploring the baffling magnetism of curated social media lives that are designed to make us feel unworthy but ultimately this dazzling novel celebrates the unlikely bonds that form and the power that can be unlocked when a group of very different women is thrown together while each other while each is at her most vulnerable so i feel like maybe this isn't a thriller but i don't know it kind of sounds cute like I feel like all these moms, like they're all rich, obviously, like they're in social media and glamour and all this stuff, um, but they all have problems. So I feel like maybe it's more focused on the fact that, you know, these women are struggling and they're trying to cope. And so like, obviously there's going to be secrets. Um, you know, I don't know about the whole betrayal thing, but yeah, it seems like, and it's supposed to be funny. So it seems like this might be like a little, I don't know. You get it. Another thriller I got is The Chestnut Man by Soren Vistrup or Vistrup, something like that. Um, I'll just go ahead and read this. Oh, first of all, look at how freaking big this is. It's a 500, 513 pages. No, I like 515, 516. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a really chunky, chunky chunky book and i never read um a book that's 500 pages i don't even think 400 pages so this is really really thick um so hopefully it's good i'm just gonna go ahead and read the synopsis since it's pretty short um the blurb says if you find one he's already found you a psychopath is ter terrorizing copenhagen his calling card is a chestnut man, a handmade doll made of matchsticks and two chestnuts, which he leaves at each bloody crime scene. Examining the doll's forensics makes a shocking discovery, a fingerprint belonging to a young girl, a government's minister's daughter, who had been kidnapped and murdered a year ago. A, tra a tragic coincidence or something more twisted. To save innocent lives, a pair of detectives must put aside their differences to piece together the chestnut man's gruesome clues because it's clear that the man made that the oh sorry because it's clear that the madman is on a mission that is far far from over and no one is safe 
So that seems really good. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I read um, or like watched reviews, but I can't remember if they're good or bad. All I know is that I want to read it because it seemed crazy. Another book is An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Um, I'm excited for this one because this these are the authors um, of my favorite book so far. The Golden Couple, I really love that book. So, and that was the first book I ever read by these authors. So I'm excited to read another book. Um, this is about a woman who um, I guess needs money. And there's this ad, I assume, I assume it's an ad, that she finds and you just need to have, answer a couple questions. It's like a survey and then you get money. And that's what she thinks, is, thinks it is. And then, uh, but she finds out that these questions are very personal and they start getting like really deep and it eventually like turns into this thing where she has to start doing what this um this doctor that's doing this experiment doing what this doctor um asks of her like for example like what to wear like where to go like stuff like that so it's not just answering questions anymore i guess she has to you know she's like playing this part and then but eventually she is starting to get like confused on whether or not like what is real life and what is a part of this um, this experiment and is she being manipulated by this doctor. So that is an anonymous girl. So the last book I got is You're Invited by Am Amanda Jayatisa. So this book is about, th and this one seems really good. <laughs> this is about a woman who is invited to her best friend's wedding, um, but they haven't talked for so long. So yeah, so she's invited to her wedding and then she finds out that her old best friend is actually marrying her ex-boyfriend. And um, when she finds that out, she's going to try to stop the wedding um, for whatever reason. I'm thinking this is just already I'm making assumptions but I'm thinking that it, it seems obviously like oh is it jealousy like you know let me stop her from you know or him from marrying her I don't think it's that I think it's um that maybe she knows something about the ex-boyfriend like he's freaking crazy or whatever <laughs> so she's trying to actually help the best friend um anyways the best friend I forget her name's Kavi I believe Kavi, yeah she goes missing and presumed dead and all the evidence points to the main character um but then you find out that it's not just her there's actually a lot of people that have been invited to the wedding everyone has their own agenda and plans to stop the wedding um so yeah so these are all the books that i got um i'm super excited to read them um especially baby teeth but like a lot of these are good um that i can't wait to read um since all of them are like thriller except for this one i'm not entirely sure what happy and you know it is i don't know if it's considered a thriller um that one's kind of like iffy but um yeah all of these i'm super excited to read maybe i'll do like a vlog or something reading these books but i'm a slow reader reader i know a lot of um booktubers they use audiobooks and that's how they can get through these books so damn fast. But yeah, I'm definitely going to read all these um, like traditionally. So yeah, I think that'd be really fun though to make a long uh, reading vlog, especially with thriller books. So we'll see. But these again are all my books. Um, thank you for watching.